Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan and today I'm looking at the very latest camper vans from Auto Sleepers, a company that's celebrating its diamond anniversary, 60 years of building camper vans. Now, these latest models are all based on the Peugeot Boxer and in window van form with this flush fitting a thermic glass quite heavily tinted down the side of the vehicle, giving it a very automotive look. They've got the latest 165 bhp blue HDI engine as standard, and they come in a choice of these three metallic paint finishes. If you want an automatic, the cab switches from Peugeot to Fiat, looks pretty much the same, but you can then have a nine-speed automatic gearbox. These latest models come with a number of enhancements, including an onboard motorhome Wi-Fi system that's said to give you up to five times the performance from your devices thanks to a rooftop antenna. Also on the roof is the new option of roof rails, useful if you want to carry a surfboard or something on the top. Underneath the vehicle is the latest whale heating system, up to six kilowatt output and working from gas and mains electricity. And improving the security of your motorhome is the Chris VIN chip system, which helps identify your vehicle should it be stolen. As a premium vehicle, you'd expect your auto sleeper camper van to come with the premium pack, because that gives you cab air conditioning, cruise control, DAB radio with sat nav, reversing camera, alloy wheels, a solar panel, an awning, and even semi-air suspension. Now, if you want to further upgrade your vehicle, you can add a media pack with a satellite dish, the winter pack, which gives you heating for the water tanks, uh, insulation blankets on the wheel arches, and also cab blinds. And finally, you can even add roof air conditioning for the habitation area. If you want to be able to just climb into bed rather than converting a seating area, Fairford Plus offers one option and Kingham the other. And it's a completely different arrangement. You've got a French bed, so a bed running lengthways along the side of the van with the washroom alongside. Here we've got the bed in this rather luxurious chaise long mode, but when the bed is down, you can just simply mm -hmm pull it flat and it's then 1.87 meters long by a maximum of 1.2 meters. There's more to having a fixed bed and this mattress is exceptionally comfortable. There's more to having a fixed bed though than just nighttime comfort because the storage underneath is excellent too. It's about uh, 0.5, about half a meter high under there you can get all your outdoor chairs, barbecue, that sort of thing in there. And also you can either load it as I've, as I've shown by lifting the bed on its gas struts or just simply opening the back doors. The washroom alongside the bed is similar to the one in the Symbol Plus. So you've got a corner basin, no need for a shower curtain when you're showering and it's a good practical space. Then you've got a vanity area at the foot of the bed and then moving into the kitchen where you've got the same fittings as in the other models but in a slightly different arrangement. You've got your microwave above the sink, three burner hob with the extractor hood above and your oven and grill. Your pop-up power tower here and there's plenty of worktop too. Not only have you got this section here, the one where we've got the removable draining board, you've got the flip up section at the forward end and then over on the other side underneath the wardrobe you've got your 88 litre fridge and yet more worktop. 
Because the Kingham is a pure two berth, it doesn't have any rear travel seats, but that means that this sofa can have a bit more shape. It doesn't have to be a bed. It doesn't have to have seat belts. It's just a sofa. And therefore, it's a very comfortable place to sit and relax. And you've still got the two swivel cab seats as well. This nice little coffee table. All in all, this is my favorite model in the range.